Bruh, see you around. You see didn't. What is it? See you. You strike me down. You're gonna make you me a part of you, just like, just like Han. Freak you. Freak you, Luke Skywalker. That shit. Freak everything you're about, and I'm so glad peed, I was right about him. It pees on everything, and it's canon. I it, can't say. It I can't on, even argue. It's the canon it, now. It, it, it put its long it's, cock out and went over the prequels and pissed on the original trilogy, bro. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I'm Jody Joe, repping that Superman status. Welcome to the channel where we keep it real and give our opinions. Oh, Accompanying me is the man, the myth, the legend himself. Oh, baby, what's up? Dakota's here. I'm here. Let's get into this shit. This movie is trash, bro. This is a whack, trash, garbage movie, and I can't believe what Disney did to me. Kathleen Kennedy, the Zack Snyder of Star Wars, it's official needs to go. And it's hard because she's a president and she's all this part. Disney, I understand why George Lucas said he sold his film to white slavers. I understand it now. Not just J.J. Jar, Jar Jar Abrams. No, it's also this Ryan Johnson guy who made a trash kids movie, who completely disrespected everything that the force is, who completely took shits on characters that were actually built up by J.J. Abrams in episode seven. Yeah. Unbelievable. J.J. Yeah. built some characters up. He built Poe, he built Ray, and he Finn. built Finn He's and Kylo. Boy. And He's guess what boy. they did? Let me. Let Ryan me. Johnson smashed uh, them back to the floor. You, I'm sorry. Go I'm, ahead, no, man. go ahead and rant. No, 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 no. Let no, it no. out. Let it out. Let no, no, no. I'm done. I'll, I'll bring some more later. You'll trigger me, and I'll say something else. All right, because I freak this week I ain't the like, script, bro. I don't like the movie either, but you was talking about JJ building up characters. He sure and, did. And and I have to agree because to me, Finn was the best. I love Finn. And and it hurts Finn me. Finn is garbage. It hurts me to know that J.J. Abrams <sighs> set up the whole Finn as a stormtrooper. Finn, you know, yeah. getting taken from his family or whatever as a young age. Maybe force and, sensitive. And all that stuff. Maybe but, a but Jedi. Let me let me continue. Finn, Bruh, Finn, Finn, miss me. Finn running from the first order and all that, and meeting Ray and all that, and then now this movie comes along. And I'm like, here's your Asian girlfriend. Wait. Go do something. Wait, with wait. And then this movie comes along. I'm like, we're. I'm definitely gonna get more Finn in this movie. Oh yeah, we definitely got more Finn. In in, in terms of oh, yeah. backstory. Oh no no. I'm no. like, okay, this yeah. movie's gonna take me for a ride, yeah. but it's also gonna take me for a ride. Because you know when we saw the trailer and you saw Finn and yes. uh, Fast Yes, like, oh. Come on! So yes. I'm like, yes. I'm like, oh I didn't say anything, obviously, because yeah. I didn't yeah. wanna. But I thought, okay, throughout this movie, I know it's not a Finn movie. He's gonna be getting chased by them. No, I thought that. Finn's gonna find out more about they what even, they did to his family and took him from his family and she was there and, they, and now he's pissed off, they, right? They weren't even chasing him no more, dog. That's what I'm saying. They chased him through episodes and they weren't even worried about him no more. I'm like, I'm like, okay, Finn, he's gonna find out what happened to his family and Phasma's gonna be directly responsible and they're gonna have their little clash. Like Rain, uh, what's his name? She's, got their she's clash. a throwaway character. Right, right. So that She's was, a hi, I'm the bad guy. What do you wanna do? I was completely disappointed. Oh they God. did not explore, spoiler alert, if you thought like me, they did not explore his Finn's backstory none the backstory that was clearly built up in force awakens with the whole stormtrooper like i said that, yes. that was clearly built up bro yeah and 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 that bro. i guess that's it bro. that's all you get bro. from bro. that bro. Bro. if yes. you want his backstory you go to the force awakens which fills you with questions and the last jedi gives you no answers for that like none i made a top five things that i need to see in star wars yeah. i made that video two days ago where is it? I wanted to see more. Here it is. Time. Top five things that need to happen. So, will be one of the greatest Star Wars movies ever released because I got a feeling about it. Because of you hear me? Said, Do you hear this fool? Trailer magic. Let's go. Listen to what? What did that fat boy Jody say? I got a feeling about it. What did Jody say? You fat yeah. idiot. Say it again, Jody. Freak you, motherfucking uh, one punch man. I'll give a freak. Say it. I believe this will be one of the greatest Star Wars movies ever released because I got a feeling about it. You're a fat pig and you don't know shit. Alright, little man. Hold on, hold Turn on. Magic. Here we go. Number five. The manipulation of General Snow. So they're kind of playing with a little. Oh, that's number four. With number four. Choose what you're doing with Ray and Finn. What are they doing with them? Nothing. Not answered. Not answered. That's another problem with the movie. Oh no, let me give you number five. Code, code. These are my five things that I needed, nigga. I think I got none. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because of what this man said, and I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and start with five things that I need, starting at number five. 
A better story and lightsaber battles. Number five, a better story and lightsaber battles. Did we get that? No. We didn't get that shit. Did we get what we're doing with Ray and Finn? No. No. Number three. Oh dear God, number three. This guy. <laughs> Kylo Ren. Choose what you're doing with Kylo Ren. No. Well, actually, they did. A little bit. A little bit. They chose. A little bit. It, A little bit. I didn't like where they're going with him, but they did choose. Here you go. What about this one? Coming in at number two. Where the freak has Luke Skywalker been? They no. Oh, we know yeah. where, where he, he got some explaining to do, dog. Yeah, we know he and was, his explaining that was insane. bullshit, bro. And number one, who is Snoke? That's, I want to know everything that's about the him. elephant in the room, right? That's there. the elephant in the motherfucking room, bro. It's still an elephant. <laughs> this is a spoiler heavy, freaking spoiler review this, rant. If you don't want to know shit about that, get the freak out. You better get out of here. I got spoilers. Don't trip in editing. Spoilers all over the screen, bro. Yeah, cuz. Do you want to build to that? You want to just throw it out? What do you want to do? We, we, could, we could get to that. Because it's we'll a lot of stuff. You got to build to that. Okay. Um, oh, you wanna... It shows Ray on the island. Shows Luke. And the instant I knew that something was wrong was when he threw that lightsaber over the freaking thing. I said, oh, God dang. Luke Skywalker is officially trash. I've always said he was trash. Yeah. He was trash in episode six. Uh, trash in episode four. Trash in episode five. I like the... And now he's trash in episode seven and trash. He's, he's garbage. Definitely trash in... Episode seven. <laughs> he's I, I, can't, I can't defend your your conviction. He's my boy, he's, back then, he's you know. a coward. He basically ran because he sensed darkness within Kylo Ren and tried to kill him in his sleep. Here's my problem with that. Here's my problem with that. Spoiler again: elephant Easter egg in the room, the Yoda thing. That's my problem with that because they they did that and they had him treat him like like when they was fucking. Master and student for the first time. So what are you telling me? He's learned nothing. That's what you're telling me. Yes, That's you're literally telling yes. me. Yes, he's he's this old and he's learned nothing. You're <laughs> you have no wisdom at all. You're still being sunned by a ghost Yoda, my, my nigga. And even Yoda came out and dis and, and disappointed me. The stuff he was saying. Yeah. Where's your wisdom, bro? Yeah. Yoda was whack too. Oh, the, 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 he, he said something that I remember. He said basically the masters always get usurped by the Padawans. Right. He he used a different wording I, I, that right, I forgot, right, 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 right. but he says that that's the way of it. Right. He basically said that Rey and Kylo surpassed Luke, and that's a fact. Kylo Ren was more powerful than Luke Skywalker. Kylo Luke was afraid of Kylo. Right. I've only felt this power once, and this is the first time I'm afraid of it. You were afraid of his potential. No, real power. When Ray flexed, yeah. he was scared. Yeah, but you know they gotta. And then you showed, and then you showed Luke shit. Skywalker fighting Kylo Ren, and it was a hologram, my nigga. Yeah, but his lightsaber was real. Did they clash sabers? I think they clashed I don't sabers. Think they did. I think he was dodging them the whole time. Maybe I hope so. I think he was, but that's a small problem. Even if they clashed sabers, I mean, I've never seen that's this. Stupid, I've never seen this before in Star Wars. Uh, where a forced ghost is actually real looking. He was projecting that shit across from far away. Br bruh. That's some power right there. <laughs> bruh. And, and so, so powerful it killed him. Because he faded away after he that. Faded bruh. away. The fade away is real. Obi Wan did it. Oh my god. And no one even heard him. He got stressed out, broke a sweat, and faded away. He, he felt it coming. He looked at the sunset. He was like, oh. And then Leia yeah, felt it. Yeah, X-Men Apocalypse. It all becomes clear. Yeah, game, nigga. <laughs> he wrecked his own shit. He wrecked. And then Leia, don't get me started oh, on her. I mean, again, since you, you mentioned the lightsabers not being clashed together. Yes. Fucking Leia got blown up. It, and the fire decided not to burn her. And then she was flooding out of space. <laughs> she was She was the icicle. She was, she was a freezing. Popsicle. She was a popsicle. I guess she was protecting herself with the force. Cause she was like, yeah, fuck it. She was freezing over, bro. She was like, fuck it. Like, I ain't never in my she life. She forced pulled herself back to the shit. But to go back to the uh, technical problems, uh, I'm how sorry, did I'm she sorry. get blown up, bro? You, you wrecked my life. Hold on, excuse me, sir. Did you just say Leia got blown up? She did. Didn't get hurt by the impact nor the fire. Nothing. Floated out of space. No air. Froze like a for a, for a while. She was floating. Froze. She woke up. Woke up. 
Force pulled herself. Force right? flew, opened the door with her force ability, and then collapsed and had a headache for, for the rest of the movie. Yeah. Gee. Thanks, Ryan Johnson. What an amazing script. I mean, I, I, trash. I see they wasn't trying to kill her and all, but don't do and some Kathleen, shit like and that. And Kathleen Kennedy's like, mm, very good. You want a trilogy, Ryan? Why would they get the why freak? Would they let her do that shit? Kathleen Kennedy needs to be fired. Why would they let yesterday. her do that shit? And it's not an exaggeration. She literally got blown up. <laughs> she got blown up. She got blown up with no damage to her body. Not even her garments. No. Nothing. She was preserved in outer space. That was weird. But, Trash. But then let's get started on what's his, what's his the name? The best part of the movie was like that opening fight sequence with Poe. Oh, uh, yeah. With the the bombs going down and blowing stuff yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we know the girl had to really let those bombs down so we could give the Asian girl some depth, right? Yeah, so that's what I was that's saying. That's the reason for her being throughout the whole but film. But that's backwards to me. Heck. That's backwards. Because you, you do not get to... Throw an Asian character at me and make me follow her for 40 minutes in a Star Wars movie. And I don't even know who the freak she is. That's what I'm just because you give me a 10 minute scene of an Asian girl blowing herself up. Yeah, that you don't know. That's the that's the bullshit that I call on that. I'm like, It's bullshit. It's I'm terrible like, script writing. You were it's terrible. To, you were supposed to put that uh, uh, character in the first movie. In episode 7. Establish those two Correct. as characters. Doesn't even have to be Superman exactly. or B. Exactly. And then I'm like, oh, they're back. Exactly. Those two that did that thing. So let's see what you guys are going to do. And they're shooting. And you're like, oh, let's see if they're going to. And then you're like, oh, shit. No, is she going to die now? She's not that much of a character, but now she's going to die. And then it's going to give her other character or it's, uh, it's the sister it's, or whatever. It's, it's, it's yeah, I was like. This necklace. That means nothing Does that to mean me. something to them? It, 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 oh, it's they, something it's, it's together. I guess. What does that mean to me? What does that mean to me? Y'all know who you guys are. Who the frick? And you derailed Finn. Finn is trash and wasted in this movie. He you was. paired the Asian girl with Finn to go to a casino. They like to pair Finn with <laughs> chicks. They paired him with Ray last minute. You paired, Finn. listen, bro. You paired Finn with the Asian to send him to a casino? Yeah. To get a crow, a gold cracker? Yeah. To let the Star Destroyer's ship shields down so they can't track them? Yeah. And Poe is sitting on his butt the whole time waiting for this to happen? Yeah. Also, the the ship outside trying to blow them up is just waiting for this all to go. Here's, a, here's a better Bruh. idea. Bruh. Here's a better idea. Here's a better idea that piggybacks the stupid idea. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get to that code, code. I gotta explain it. Here's the, 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 the rebellion yeah. ship that's under attack. Here's the Star Destroyer right here. Yeah. Pew, pew, kill him. They're waiting. They're waiting. We're waiting for them to go get the casino chip to get the cracker. No, that, Pose communication. Nigga, charge that moving. sheet up and blow that sheet up. This yeah. was the longest. This was the, the movie. Outer space yeah. like this for an hour, my nigga. The for an was, hour. The plot was stupid. <sighs> the, what the, the freak? The, the, the plot was stupid. If you compare it to the prequels, or even the, the originals, it's stupid. It's because stupid. because clearly we get the... I mean, I, I don't think... What is the plot? They're, just, they're chasing the rebels. They're chasing the rebels to kill them, but we, their we, ship is not as fast. So they put all their shields behind it, and they go a little ways further out. Because if they go too fast, they run out of gas and all that shit, and they can't jump with the fun. It's we could fucking stupid. We could they set up it. all these... Prerequisites for them have they have to stay this far, yes. So the little fighters can't go too far from the big ship, yes. It's fucking stupid, it's they just want to do this. And, and meanwhile, you're giving us a 40 freaking minute transition of showing right. us the whack collector Guillermo del right. Toro, trash wasted character, Finn and camels and horse races, right. and gambling. And they threw, and that they shit threw is in, weak, bro. They threw, in, they threw in a character, uh, what's her name, Maz or some shit? I don't know. They, they Who? threw the, the, the little uh, alien chick with the goggles. With the, no, she was in episode no, seven. I know, but they threw her in yes, here they threw her in just the so he, she can tell Hey, I'm still where, alive. I'm still, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm still in this universe, yeah, guys. Like, what the fuck? Yet you're showing me porgies and shit. Pork potato bugs, bro. That was cute, though. They were cute. I, Chewbacca got disrespected. He got sunned by BB-8. This is the movie of BB-8. You got this nigga BB-8 saving people. BB-8 in a, in, a, in a metal body. BB-8 hacking something. BB-8 becoming friends with something. BB-8 unlocking. BB-8. BB-8. And BB-8. Nigga, this movie had more depth for BB-8 than any other character in this. I swear I am not yeah. lying to you. And, and... R2-D2 did the same thing he did in the last movie and this movie. He woke up, showed some shit, and left. Yeah. <laughs> he did the same shit.
fan. And these are the same motherfuckers. They're the same these Star fans. Wars fanboys who hate on the prequels. Y'all the same motherfuckers that hate on Jar Jar Binks, my nigga. Or do they too? Jar Jar Binks have way more dips than all these weekend as robots. Y'all love so much. Like J three. Oh dear me. Weak C three PO. I'm sick of droids. I'm sick of droids and mascots, bruh. Miss me with that shit y'all on. Y'all just hating the prequels because a couple of nerds who loved it when it first came out Bro. hate it now. And now you guys are just riding it. Man, go watch the prequels again. Go watch the original trilogy again and you really see what Star Wars is. Oh my god. But they shit on R2-D2, man. Like, he just, he keep waking up and showing shit and going back. Yeah, because they're because of BB-8, my nigga. They gotta put R2-D2, they're putting R2-D2 in it to let us stupid... Let us dumb nerd, driveling, snot nose, booger fans know. There's R2 D2. Yay! But here's I'm my okay thing. with BB8 now. But here's my thing. Here's you my think thing. Disrespect the fans. But, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. I get that, right? Yeah, I get you it. Want, you want BB8? I get it. Kathleen Kennedy want, thinks we're, we're freaking idiots, so just throw shit in there. You yeah. want BB8 to be center stage? Sure. I okay. see. It. I get it for the new fans. But R2 D2 is still the old fans. But why make new characters and follow them? Why not put R2-D2 with a new character and then follow them? Like, you get what I'm saying? They throw in the Asian chick, she was a new character. And you followed her. You know why? For no reason. In episode 7, they were playing with BB-8 to see what happened. Now that he's a huge success from episode 7, they completely sideline R2. R2-D2 was meant to be in this movie way more than he was. Because at the end, when he woke up and told about the tracking for where Luke was at, then he, went back to he was going to go back with Luke and be with Luke, dog. Yeah. Yep, and he's going to be in the movie more. But once them toys started to sell, bro, after episode 7 came out, yeah, once that BB-8 popping... They said, nigga, move aside, R2. But, that but that's the thing I don't get. It could have been, been Finn, BB-8, and, 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 and R2-D2 on this mission. Because that Asian chick, nobody would have missed her because nobody knows. That person came out of nowhere. And I'm not hating on her. No, it's we're just, not hating on her. Get the freak out this movie. Yeah, it's like... You're wasting... Samuel Tarly in Game of Thrones. Exactly. That's exactly what more, this is. He has more depth than her. Sam no, 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 no. That's all. I'm not. I'm getting something different. Okay. I never understood when we were watching like season five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you said I hate shows? Why are you showing Sam? Yeah. Get to the real good shit. Yeah. You wasted my show on Sam. Yeah. You're wasting my show on. You're wasting this movie. I waited two years to see on BB-8. Right. Finn and this Asian girl doing a right. stupid burnt mission for a stupid burnt plot for a whack stupid dumb person who doesn't give a freak about it. He comes in. He comes in and. He gets no no screen time. Who are you talking about, Finn? The hacker. They found him and he does nothing. What are they doing there? He didn't do nothing. He was a betrayer. They had a better prize. Oh, okay. Didn't, didn't I didn't care. Did. You know what? I didn't, what you, I didn't care. There was so much treachery and bullshit. I didn't care. Oh, he, you know what? Oh, he's he's against them. Oh, okay. I didn't care. I didn't That's care. That's a problem. I didn't care. When, when, when Finn was about to die, I was like, let me see where they're going with this. I was so ready for him to die. That would have given us something. But the Asian girl exactly. saved him. Exactly. The Asian girl saved him. That's that ruined it for part. me. Because let's face it, there's a lot of deaths in this movie. A lot of people dying. And I didn't care. And nobody cared. The only time I was going to care, and it's because Finn was an established character. Yes. I'll not be a great established character. But, but he was still established, established in the first movie. And I'm yes. like, oh no, Finn's going to go. But when the rest of them was dying left and right, I was like, okay. I don't care. Another rebel down. Yes. What's the difference between a new rebel that you're showing their face and they're doing something important and die from the freaking... Rebels, they keep getting blown up every now and then. They keep getting blown up. Yes, they're Why dying. should I care because you put the camera on one of their faces? Was she supposed to represent the rebels or something? She represents know. trash to me, bro. I don't know. They I don't care. You was, know what I mean? They, yes, because I know the what ship, you mean. the ships that were going. Yes, they it were was getting filled blown rebels. up. They and nobody getting, cared. Boom, there goes another bunch. Boom. Yes, and every single... I got so sick and tired of this stupid shit. Poe's riding in, right in dead center in front of the walker. He's And he has everyone to his left and his right. But all of them are blowing up right next to him. Right. But Poe's going to be fine. Even though he's right in the freaking center. Right. Miss me. All the rebels, when they're fleeing the main ship and they're going to go to the planet. Right. All the, oh, they're blowing up. Poo, poo. Except the one that Leia's in. Right. Get the man... Get the freak out of here, bro. You know, that's how I, get, that's how I gotta go. But No, it, I understand there's that how it gotta go, but yeah. not like that. Yeah, I know what not, you and, mean. And it, and it did it so much. Yeah. It did it so many times. Oh, Finn's gonna survive. Oh, we know Finn's gonna survive. Poe's gonna survive. Leia's gonna survive. Oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And they keep killing people that don't matter. 
Stop doing that shit. And then you're going to show their face like I'm going to care. All the bombers would get, we got to drop the bombs. And then they're like, like six bombers. There goes another bomber. There goes yeah, another yeah. bomber. Now it's the last one. Now you want to show her face. Yes. And I don't know who that is, but I'm supposed to care. But she, you, only thing you need to know is that chain. Just know the chain. Because she's the sister of the other girl that right. we're going to put you and on. Now you're going to meet that her we're sister. Gonna de- we're going to derail gonna you for 40 minutes. Oh, it's her sister. Yeah. Now I care about her. Yes. No, I still don't. Now send her with Finn really and don't. go do some shit on the side. I still don't care about Man, her. I really don't. Miss me, my nigga. Miss me. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. He's what do I say bitch. about this guy? He's still a bitch. He's a pussy. And it's okay because I'm alright with him being an emotional brat pussy because you know that's exactly what Anakin Skywalker was. Right. I give them points for that. Yes. When, but I take away points because they were trying to piggyback, in my opinion. They were trying to piggyback. Of course. When, when he said to Anakin, I'll destroy uh, 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 the, the, uh, the Chancellor and we'll be, I'll build my own empire. I'll overthrow him. Remember that? Yes. He said that shit to Rey. We'll, we'll, we'll break yeah. away from the past, all yeah. that shit. Yes. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll build a new future, some yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm like, what? Is I, this trying I, to piggyback? There's something that I love when, 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 when we thought Kylo Ren was just being bad. When they gave us the twist that Luke was in his bedchamber going to kill him, I said, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. And they instantly took that away from me because they gave us the real perspective. Right, right. You really did try to do that shit, but for a different reason. Right. Kylo Ren has no growth from episode seven. He doesn't. He's learned nothing. The whole movie. He hasn't been. got any better. The whole movie has no growth. But yeah. There's just... Yeah. And even Snoke himself told Kylo, You're a weaseling little child in a mask. I'm about to get the Snoke mask oh, you. You, you. Bring him up. Okay, fine. Keep going, keep going. Snoke was basically trying to craft him into being Darth Vader. He even mentioned it. You're yes, nothing yes. like Darth Vader. No, no, no. I'm like, okay, nice little call. Now you need to be talking yeah. about him. That's what's up. I like that. And then he went out to go... In a, in a rage, like Snoke didn't even tell him to go kill Leia. He went out there to go kill Leia, and that's right. when she got blown up. It wasn't his fault. I wanted him to kill her. Yeah, and it wasn't even his doing. He, yeah, he you know, hesitated. It was his kid. little guys yeah, did yeah, yeah. it. Pussy. I'm like, okay, for sure. Then once he finally caught Ray, he tricked Ray. Yeah. Because they had this communication yeah. where they could see each other. None of them are questioning how it's happening. I have a problem with that. Too. Neither one of them are questioning how it's happening. Now, on top of that, I have never in my life in Star Wars known people to just pop up in front of each other living. This is a new power. Right, right. Definitely new power. Definitely new power. I'm like, okay, I'm game. Maybe these are powerful beings we're talking about here, right? New shit. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Snoke is a beast. (laughs) Yeah. Beast among beasts. He's a beast. This guy can't be touched. He can sense anything. He can cloud minds. For sure. I'll buy it until we get to the point where Snoke met his demise. Yeah. They murdered Snoke in this movie. They murdered Snoke in this movie. The only one thing that I really wanted to know about the yeah. mystery is he Mace? Is he this? Is he Kylo? Is he Dark City? Is Dark Plages? The Why? Who is he? The nigga's nothing, bro. He got murdered by Kylo Ren. You mean to tell me this all supreme knowing being didn't know that he was forcing his saber right next to him? That's part of my problem, too. Because. Oh he was, oh, he, was he, being he, him. he cut him in half. He was being tricked while he was telling us that the, he, that he got. I see his every. I can read his mind. I I I, I can see his entire mind. Everything that he does. <laughs> but he's doing this thing right there, and you don't see that shit. You don't feel it. You don't sense it. Nothing. You don't sense the betrayal in the in in, in the force when and he's he, doing that. And he said it. I can sense that he sees what's in front of him. He's gonna kill you. Blah blah blah. What, he's gonna, you know he's he not gonna betray me. He said, Kylo Ren, I sense that you're now complete. Yeah. I sense it. <laughs> really, Snoke? Do you sense this saber about to go through your abdomen? <laughs> they cut him in half. Snoke is dead. But, what do they do? But, what do they do? What do they do? Who's the guy? Who's the bad guy? It's Kylo? It's gotta be Kylo. It's Kylo and the red-headed guy? It's gotta be Kylo. Really? It's gotta be Kylo. But, here's my problem. <sighs> They threw away Phasma. Also, I guess Phasma's dead. Phasma's right? trash. Chrome. Come on, Chrome Dome. Oh, God. <clears throat> Here's my thing with that scene. Because I'm expecting so much more, right? Snoke sits there. And he's displaying amazing Immense force. power. He's just doing this. 
and shit's happening. He's not even doing that. She's trying to grab the saber. He's like, ah, oh, bitch, hit yeah, her in yeah. the head with it, put yeah, it yeah. back, yeah. moving her around, yeah. taking her body, showing her shit, turning on screens and shit. I'm like, and this nigga give a speech like, I'm the most ultimate, I can't be blah, blah. Here's my thing. After he gave all that speech and displayed that little power, I'm like, all right, he's clearly turning that saber to stab him and he's giving the speech. I see his every mind. He's not gonna do shit to me, blah, blah, blah. I thought he was gonna open that saber and he was gonna say to him, you didn't think I would know this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And just like wreck both of them. Yeah. And then Luke was gonna walk in and oh, just, no. you know, and yeah. just come in and be like, you thought I was gonna let this happen? You thought I didn't feel that you... Th and then Snoke would have to get out his chair and we would see the display of power that Luke supposedly is. Yes, I said it. I'm a big Luke fan. Big he's she. I, I thought we were gonna see this, the display of power that Luke is supposedly, you know, and then the display of uh, power that uh, uh, Snoke is saying that he's the almighty. So I'm like, all right. The two, the two peons are gonna sit to the side. Yes. They're young, they're younglings. Yes. Let the big dogs battle. Yes. And we was gonna get a buckets of cum CG, although it be, because that old man can't do it. Sidious versus let's, Yoda. Yes, let's get it. I thought we was gonna see an epic CG battle between the iconic Luke and the build up that is Snoke. Oh my God, they, I, they trolled I, us. I, I they we, trolled us. I, they trolled us with I Luke. literally thought he was gonna come in the room and he was gonna see this epic fucking battle and Luke was gonna shine. You know what I mean? Yes. But, nah. It, it was just anticlimactic. They trolled us with Luke. Yeah. And, and nothing. You, and I, you murdered Jer Supreme Leader. And the, and the icing on the cake. He's dead. The icing on the cake that pissed me off even he's, more. He's dead. When, when Luke, the hologram, went to the base. Or whatever, the force projection. Yes. Went to the base. Yes. And he was sucking lead. Then he goes out there. And I'm thinking to myself, no. Is he gonna do something iconic here and now? I thought he was gonna do Mace Windu in that animated show. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, if he does something it, iconic here and now, why didn't you let him fight Snoke? If you're gonna, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But lo and behold, the movie doesn't even deliver there. Because he doesn't have shit. He's a scary, wait, frivolous, weak old but man. Wait. I feel so bad for you, Mark Hamill. Wait. I feel so bad for him. But wait. The actor, I feel so bad. The movie continues to pee on your grave by letting Kylo says blast him with every. Blasting you got and then they do this display of fucking Dragon Ball Z bombardment. Now they're holding it over your head again. Oh, is he open? Is he open? Yes. This bombardment of we're like, oh, fire. Yeah, we're like, oh, and then it? he's just like, keep shooting, keep shooting, yeah, and the other guy has to stop it. That's yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. And he then walks he out. walks out. We're like, oh, okay. Brushes so, his so. shoulder up like that's nothing to me, and I'm like, oh shit, he really is going to do some. That was cringy though. That. <laughs> he's gonna do Shout some, to Luke Skywalker being in the hood. He's gonna do some epic shit. Yeah. And then nothing. <laughs> no, he's a hologram. And and <laughs> and Kylo didn't even know. He didn't even know. He's doing all this epic bending and shit. Bruh. See you around. You see didn't What is it? See you, Kylo. You strike me down. You're gonna make you me a part of you. Just like just like Han. Freak you. Freak you, Luke Skywalker. That shit. Freak everything you're about, and I'm so glad peed, I was right about him. It pees on everything, and it's canon. I can't it, say. It I can't on, even argue. It, it's the canon it, now. It, it put its long it's, cock out and went over the prequels and pissed on the original trilogy, bro. Uh, and hey, then it, and hey, it retracted. Hey, its look, cock. I'm right there with you. Every time you mention Luke and you, because you know you didn't like him as a character nope. to begin with. Nope. And I would defend him because it's canon. The books. The, the, the three movies, which didn't really show much, because at the end of Return of the Jedi, you know, yeah, we got nothing. You're in your but, 20s, but you're the, learning the but Force. The prequels, but the prequels, but the books give, say all these awesome shit that Luke does, and they said it was canon. George said it was canon, so you gotta go with it. But now this is the canon? Yes. And then they deleted all the books? Yep. Luke is utter trash. He's nothing. I'm sorry. He's I'm a, a poser. Fan, but he's, he's utter a trash. Poser. He's a poser with a lightsaber. He, he, he felt Kylo Ren's darkness and it scared him to an island of seclusion. He's an old, I'm not going to call him master, because he never had a student. Master of what? He's an old, I'm not going to call him Jedi, he was never in the order. He's an old force user. He's a poser. And he still ain't learned shit. And Yoda had to come in his ghost form and educate you some more. And he some didn't even, more. And his education was whack. Like, no wisdom coming from Yoda. 
You gotta fail. Failure is a part of the process. Yeah. That's how it works. No. And then he says, and then he says, it's, it, but it's time for the Jedi to end. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, Yoda. What the freak? Just because so you're the Yoda, Yoda don't mean I gotta be. <laughs> so you mean to tell me, wait, Cole, you mean to tell me that Yoda always believed, or at this point, he believes? Why this time is the time for the Jedi to end? What's different? Oh. Oh. What is different? And there was, so, and we're talking about J.J. Abrams rehashing the original trilogy. There was a lot of rehash scenes from the original trilogy in this. Case in point, when Rey was flying through that ship and all those little things she was going through, yeah. that was the complete freaking uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back. When? I don't remember. When they, when they had to blow up the uh, the Death Star. Yeah, they had to blow that shit up. And the Falcon was going through all those bars, and then, and then it showed the shot of them coming up, boom, right, and the right. blast. That was completely taken from the original trilogy. Right, right, right. And there was another one that was taken from the original. Oh, the setup. I'm this, you're that. Take his place. Come on, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the dark, that's the Return of the Jedi. Right, right, right. Where Snoke Not, was yeah, there with Return That's Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Come Return on Return. with this shit, bro. Was, but those are shitty homages. <laughs> They're rehashes with new characters we don't give a shit about. I, yeah, I really loved Rey. I don't care about her no more. How you make me not care about Rey no more? Because Rey didn't do shit. She, she literally do didn't do shit, bro. She didn't do shit. And then, and then here's my problem going back to uh, uh, Snoke. Snoke says to Ray, you thought that you guys were connecting or some shit? I was... I connected your minds. Yeah, I connected your minds. But yet, at the end of the movie, their minds connected. Because he wasn't... They weren't together. When she was at the... the they the, felt each other. Yeah. It wasn't they, a connection of the minds, though, really. No, I think it was... It was a, it was a feel. Uh, I think it was a connection of the think, minds. Yeah, it, was, it was like a feel. They did the same, cut yeah. everything out. Yes. She's looking down yes. the thing like she's looking at yes. him. He's looking up like he's looking... Yes. Same shit. I thought Snoke was doing that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Bullshit. <laughs> I call weak. it bullshit. This, this movie is really, really weak. I don't know... Ray, Bad. Kylo. Bad. No, 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 let me, let me tie back to this, Chico. This would really, you're really just sticking it to me, Disney. Once Snoke was defeated and it looked like they were united, I said, wow, this is going to be a first time ever. We don't see a Sith. We see just two Jedi working together. Right. And sure enough, that piece of shit, because the script said so, yeah. forget Luke, forget them, yeah. forget anybody, come with me. That's Wait a minute, Anakin nigga. We just Anakin worked moment. together and... That's the Anakin moment. Bruh, you, you, you're, I said it to myself. You're only doing this to set up more movies yeah. to make him go to the dark side. Has you clearly just love, you guys saved each other's lives. From, from visually speaking, because, you know, Ugh. from taking what the movie gave us, there is no villain for episode nine, but we know it's a movie. It has yes. to be Kylo, which yes. to me is a throwaway. Yes. What's the point? Ryan Johnson ruined this trilogy, <laughs> bro. And, and, and if, oh they're, my God. if they're gonna I can't do the, saying that. if they're gonna do the thing where Snoke is still alive, then that the movie's still trash. That was they went about it the wrong way. Who's the who's the bad? Who's the supreme Sith? It's not Kylo. He's an untrained, feeble piece of shit. Yeah. Who yeah. is the? And and and, and I think Pope they, and it. they showed Snoke like this, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, they disrespect me. Right, right. They disrespect They let us have all those YouTube years of YouTube fan theories. Speculating. Speculating like a mother. Snoke is Darth Plagueis or some, Plagueis or some and shit. And all the, all the while, they were like, oh. <laughs> they gonna be mad. And, and not to mention Ray's parents. Oh wow. Oh Thank fucking you so wow. Much. Thank you so oh, much. Oh fucking wow. Ray's parents. The big reveal. Bruh. The big. I mean, again, they teased it four times in this film. Who's Ray parents? Just say it. Oh, they wanna, they wanna hang it over our heads. And then they finally said they're trash people, bruh. You know what they were? I guess they're trying to say Ray was born of the Force, like Luke, I mean, like like Anakin. Whatever. If, Who are her parents? If that's the case, why hide the parents? Why? Why hide the parents? Why even mention the parents? And then he told her, "You always knew." She did. You know whose parents? You know whose parent? You know whose parents were trash? Anakin, and they weren't hidden. Yeah. It was just the mom. There was no father. Clearly, it was a deadbeat nigga just fucked and left. They didn't have to hide that shit, right? Yes. That wasn't hidden. So pretty much raised the same shit, but they were hiding it. Why? Why was they hiding it? I don't know. What the fuck? 
just hanging over our heads. And oh. if they're not, if they're if they're still hiding it, and and I don't and, care. And uh, uh, Kylo Ren says, "I was lying to you. I was deceiving you. I didn't know who your parents were." And they give us the parents that episode nine. Does it matter? Fucking stupid. Does it matter now? It doesn't. Do matter. you? Does it matter who her parents are? It doesn't matter. Now. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. I honestly not don't with, care. Not with the way they handled this. The way they did this movie. It doesn't. You matter. completely took away. Anything. I don't give a fuck if they come out and said Yoda is her dad. Yeah. I it don't doesn't. Care. It's, I don't. It's how do you? This. It doesn't. I don't. This care. is a symbolic of how you destroyed Star Wars. You destroyed it. Anything with this. I is, don't care if. I got this is how you destroy. Your new characters oh that you were trying God. to that you're trying to set up and catapult into something else. They're done. Because they're I mean, done. I I don't even want to compare the the first trilogy to this because the no. first trilogy gave you questions and they gave you answers in the next movie and the next movie and then when the prequels came out they gave you the they answers to gave that you whole the trilogy. boatload of answers. Yes, this shit. The first movie gave me questions it's, and I, I'm a fan so I was willing to accept it. Yeah, and then this movie said. Stay tuned for more. More questions. And then, the and then fuck? And, and during the process of giving us more questions, took a piss on the original trilogy. Yeah. Took a piss on what we know about Star Wars. And took a piss on the characters that we grew to love. Even though people love Luke and Yoda, took a piss on them as well. Yeah. And if you remember, uh, I think in our review for uh, Force Awakens, I was arguing with Jody. Like, this is the first movie just like uh, New Hope. Uh, yep. You have questions and we get answers later. Yep. Well, foot and fucking mouth right here. Foot and mouth. I got no answers. No answers in no episode No fucking eight. answers. How the freak do we walk out of no episode? No answers. We're walking For out. Nothing. We're walking out of episode eight with what we walked in. Oh, you wait, got wait. nothing. You got nothing. Everything that you knew coming in is everything that you knew in, leaving. In 2015. You feel shit. And if it's shit, and let's go back to that. What I did in the theater when you was when you was recording. What? Who is Snoke? What do you know about Snoke? I don't know. And now, I show as heck don't care. Because he's dead. He's dead and you still don't know who he is he or was, where he came from. He's just the guy on the chair. You don't even know what the fuck he wanted. And he's what dead. What is your purpose for being evil? You don't even know what his plans where were. Where are you from? He just kept saying, Why you dark? bring her to me. Why, Snoke? Why do you want her so bad? Are you gonna tell me what you're gonna do? What's your big master plan? Are you gonna take over the universe? Yeah, what is it? Nothing, what, 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 what? nothing. 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 No, he's dead. And there's still nothing. And I'm gonna say it real quick here because if it happens in episode 9 and Snoke is alive or somebody explains what Snoke is supposed to do, that makes this movie irrelevant. What is the irrelevant. point of bringing a movie out when you need to <laughs> yeah. explain it later? Yeah, so don't come Miss to me, me. Later on. If they Miss explain me. it later on, what's the point of this fucking movie? What is the point of it? <laughs> I'll movie. tell you to get our money to make us go buy BB-8 toys, bruh. Kathleen Kennedy, you need to go. You are cancer to Star Bro, Wars. After that, after that last Please, shit, start a start a petition. She gotta go. After that last shit with her pulling herself back into the superpowers. Somebody who said it in the group. There was like fucking uh, um, what's his name is alive now. Your boy, Mace. Mace oh, is yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she can yeah, survive yeah. that, Mace is fucking alive. Yep. After I heard that shit, you know what I thought? Han's alive. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> fuck! Han's alive! Han's alive, bro. It's gotta be. So if Han Solo pops up in episode 9, this is I wouldn't be surprised. This is an asinine, I wouldn't be nonsensical I, film. I like it. This isn't even about Star Wars as a film. As... As writing cohesiveness and making stuff blend and be f and, and be coherent, it fails as a film. And and I'm, I'm sorry. It raises questions. I'm sorry, but it does raise it raises a lot of fucking questions. Which I know I'm gonna get no answers in episode nine because clearly these episodes do not give you answers; they give you questions, which they'll never answer because they want to let you keep wondering about those questions in episode eleven. But anyway. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 12. 10, 11 to 12, bro. Yeah. But but the the whole thing is They the, burned the Jedi books. You the burned Jedi, the Jedi's no more, all that bullshit. The, so they are no more? I no, guess. clearly. It's gonna be a new uh a new uh, there's a new rebellion. Yeah. A new the Jedi are no more. They're still here. You burned the books, you stupid motherfucker!
What's her name? Gonna Raise the new Jedi. Yeah, she's gonna teach him. That's the, ways the, ways the new rebels. She's gonna teach him the ways of the Force. Yes, yes. And With no books. You're just gonna teach him whatever she knows. Whatever she. What does she know? She knows. You know she. She, she, she knows. She knows shit. Jedi mind trick. <laughs> she don't know shit, she bro. Using that shit. She's gonna be like the Force is one with. Us. But what about? I don't know, but the, listen, be one. Go into your heart and fill it. But I don't really, it's, listen to me. But how are you gonna go one with your heart when you don't even being, have, being, shut up little boy. This, this, this is all I freaking know. Freaking Luke is dead, the, the books are burnt. I got nothing over here. You're being too logical. She's gonna pop up in episode nine knowing a lot of shit. <laughs> That's what she's gonna do. Trained okay. by. Nobody. It's okay, by herself. <laughs> I mean, look at. I said it's okay. I, I'm, it is okay. It's I'm okay. serious. It's okay because it's guess okay. what? Because guess what? The fans Luke didn't eat learn that. shit. Yep. All these years he didn't learn shit. What, bro, I, he didn't I learn am, shit. I'm blown away. So if she learns a lot, I okay. Luke didn't learn shit. He even, learned a lot. He even knew he wasn't shit in this. His Luke Skywalker, the character, knew he was a fraud in this movie. Yeah, the legend. All because of me, the legend. He kept saying legend. I'm I'm no legend. He was basically I'm no right. legend. Right. All this happened because of the legend. What legend? You ain't shit. And he knew he ain't shit. And Mark Hamill, I feel so bad for you, bro. I feel so bad for you because that's not Luke Skywalker to you. And you're mad at Ryan Johnson, and now I understand. It's Freak so Kathleen bad. Kennedy, it's bro. So she knows I'm not what she's doing. Going. I, 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 I mean, know. it's for the new. I saw it in episode seven, bro. They could have went. It. They could have went in this direction without shitting on the old. All right, they could have made a new line of Jedi's without yep. shitting on the old. Yep. You know. Yep. They could have actually let Luke new stuff and became a master and actually taught her some shit. Yeah. And you know, and then she continues. That would have been fine. It didn't have to have all this weird shit. A force ghost manipulating lightning and shit striking the tree. What the fuck is going on? Yoda. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever the fuck. Yoda. I don't know. Yoda, Yoda came out of nowhere. And because Luke didn't set it on fire, he created a lightning bolt that struck a tree. A physical manifestation living in Earth. So Yoda could have essentially flew to Kylo Ren and struck him with a lightning bolt and killed him. Yeah. But he won't. I mean, I guess after Sidious lit him up, he had unlimited power too now. Unlimited. That we seen Yoda create a lightning bolt. <laughs> he created a fucking storm. And he's letting this universe go to darkness when he could just pop. Carlo, what are you doing here? <laughs> Problem solved. Bruh, miss me, bruh. You mean tell me Yoda could just float in there and murder whoever he wants? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's some weird shit. But Snoke has to be the greatest. Snoke and Ray's parents is the greatest disappointment of this whole It's the greatest movie. troll ever. We got trolled like so hard, bro. We got trolled, my nigga. We got trolled. Thanks. Shout out to the YouTube fucking, reviewers who are giving this movie good grades. Fucking J.J. Abrams. He's laughing Ray's somewhere. Ray's parents are not in episode 7. They're not any fucking weird. Who are they? They're trash they people that didn't exist. Weird. What the fuck? Freak this movie, bro. I, I, there's not one single character that I liked. I, Who did you like? I, I mean... For, I know you like Finn, yeah. but in the film, for what the film gave you, that's not a reason to like him. No, you like I him like from him episode for, 7. Yeah, that's why I like him. In this movie, who did you like? I like those little potato things that be... They was cute and funny, bro. <laughs> They was cute and funny. You sideline Chewy. Y'all Chewy didn't do shit. Y'all sideline Chewy. Bro, let's be real. That's disrespectful. The biggest scene. They disrespected Chewy. They disrespected The biggest him, scene Chewy had in this movie was when he was about to chew one of them, one of them little niggas. Yes. He was like, uh, uh, and they're making a little bitch. He threw it away. Yeah. That's the, his biggest scene in this whole shit. So fuck me. Mm -mm. They pissed on Chewy, bro. Hell yeah. They pissed on every character from the original trilogy, but yeah. they're here. To make the nerdy booger nose original trilogy fans happy. I oh, there's it. Chewy. I said it. it we were so, the theater was in such bewilderment. It went from yeah Star Wars to yeah to nothing. When Luke met Leia, not a single clap. That is supposed to be epic. He didn't really meet Luke. her. They peed on that too. 
wasn't really he him. He wasn't really there. It wasn't really him. But he kissed her forehead. Yeah. And she felt the kiss. Yeah, you know, she felt it. Force felt it. She probably And while it. Luke was out there in hologram mode, Poe, he wants us to run. Yeah. He wants us to go. Nigga, where? Who told you that? Who the freak told you that? He was just in the bunker. He should have told you. That go. Was, that was, go. That was a, that was a stupid, uh, uh, to me, stupid writing choice. To, to say that he learned his lesson. Remember when the one chick was in the fucking ship? And he was all wanted to go and fight. Yes. And she stayed behind and did the whole thing. Yes. That was revealing. Now he was like, okay, she yes. wasn't a dick. So now Luke was doing the thing. And now he's like, okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I'm not going to be the hot. Fuck all that shit. The best part of that The shit. best part in this whole film was when a character that I don't know in a ship that I don't give a freak about <laughs> went into light speed into another ship. Yeah, that, that was dope. That was the tightest part of the whole movie, bro. A ship. The silence. A ship crashing into another ship. Yeah, which also was speed. used. Which also was used in Rogue One, wasn't it? Yeah, they like that's what I'm noticing here. They're crashing ships into ships. No, not just that. They 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 Star Wars not just the the, the not the prequels and the originals. The originals is guilty of it, but then the prequels fix that. But for some reason now it's all about targeting a, a specific thing and then blowing it up. And then they make fun of it in this movie. You remember when... They did it in the original trilogy as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But in the prequels, it wasn't about that. No. You see what I'm no, saying? No, it wasn't. But now, in this, it seems like this seems to be an ever-growing theme in this. In the first... Mm -hmm. In uh, Star Wars of uh, New Hope all over again, you gotta blow up that big ass. Yeah. New Death Star. Mm -hmm. Ten times bigger or whatever. And then even in this movie, it was... And then Poe made a joke about it. He was like, we have to take out the, uh, the tracking beacon or device or whatever. Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> and then he was like... <laughs> and he was like... I like where you're going, but yeah, no. Yeah. But it was yes! I'm serious! It was yes! Was because like, he explained it. He's like, we gotta go through here and show a lot of fucking shit. Blow it up! Get the f- We gotta go destroy this. That's exactly what yeah. you just said. We gotta go you're blow right. it up. Because that's the difference, the, the brilliance of George Lucas. He gave us prequels to completely wrap up his original trilogy. Right. So yeah, we had all that shit, but in the prequels came out, it's about something else. Right. It's not about galactic space battles. It's about... Politics. Yeah. It's about learning about the Force. What it's it about is. Why galactic space battles are taking place? <laughs> the Jedi are exactly. all a part of it. And why they don't want to intervene? Man, and why Lucas, they have to intervene? Yes, yes. Oh, it start with that epic shit. Yes. But anyways, I got so sick and tired of hearing the epic for something on screen that doesn't match its epicness. I got tired. John Williams' score is too good for this movie. And who the score told, is good too, by the way. Who the fuck told Kylo Ren that taking out your saber like that is cool? What is that? Who the who the what, oh, is, oh, yeah. what the fuck is know, that? I know exactly what. You, what is that? He did it in the Force of what? And he's doing it here. He is. That shit don't need no he help is. coming out. What, what is he's that? Doing? What is that? I don't know. You're right. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I cannot believe that Luke Skywalker was afraid of Kylo Ren's power. It's stupid. That weak motherfucker, bro. It's fucking stupid. This nigga. And did you and did you know? I really believe that those guys in the red suits around Snow, those They're were his. Those were his knights. Knights of the Ren. They're trash. And they, those were cut. We still didn't. See, that. They're trash. They got served up by two Padawans. But whatever. <laughs> oh my god, dog. They made Is them. it just me or they, well, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Would Darth Maul destroy both of them what easily? The fuck? <laughs> Bro, talking about real fighters? <laughs> real we chain? Make, we make fun of Maul and hey, young Anakin would wreck that room, Snoke and all. <laughs> can I <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me this shit. Dooku go up in there. Dooku! I, I'm so disappointed. Yeah. The fuck out of here. Don't let Sidious go up in there. Ah. 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 Take your place at my side. You know who he's talking to? Snoke. Snoke. Yeah. Right there. Take your place they at would, my side. He would say, that was talking about filthy You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna flip back that robe? Oh, <laughs> 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 that dust come out. <laughs> that was suck by shriveling. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> don't you ever ask me no question like that. <laughs> bro. Kawhi God. As much as Yoda, we, Obi-Wan. All of them. As much as we make jokes about those characters when we have them, you know, they, they do their battles and shit. Oh, but shit. these guys? These guys. These, these kids. Guys? These children. Come on. Fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? Dooku? Yeah. Dooku be like, uh, uh, Master Kenobi, you disappoint me. Yeah. He would look at these fools and be like, you know nothing of the fall. Yeah, you're not worth my time. Yeah, like, yeah, he'll walk away from the dude. Kill him. <laughs> Stop their hearts on his way out. I do not need my savior <laughs> to deal with you. Oh my god. Get the freak out of here. They weak. Maul would wreck their shit. Is it also a fact that episode one's lightsaber battles from 17 years ago and episode three's lightsaber battle between uh, young Anakin, oh, Anakin Skywalker and, and Obi-Wan Kenobi destroy these lightsaber Easy. battles? Easy, that's not even a what question. Is, why? But why though? You can't choreograph better lightsaber battles than that? It's like They're literally, ah, yeah. ah, no training at all. Oh, and I, I get that. And it's so easy to it's, do it. But it's like, it's like, that's what I don't get too. It's like, why do they want to stay true to the bullshit that they created? Like, Ray has no formal training. No. And we see it in her fighting skills. Yes. But what about the rest of the movie? Fix that shit too. Make that shit make sense like that. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But the rest of the movie don't follow that logic. Episode three. She has no runners. formal training, so she's like. But like you said, she's like you beat them. You're gonna you're gonna drop your uh 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 you're gonna drop your blaster. You're gonna open. She's doing mind tricks and shit with no formal training. Well, go ahead and let her do some fucking battles without formal training. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Just go ahead and do it. How the freak did Finn beat Captain Phasma? That's another scene. Remember when Captain Phasma had Finn and all the surrounded? Yeah. They were they were done. Phasma was right there with all the people. Yeah. And then when she did the light speed through that ship, and they all was like. When Finn got up, it shows Phasma walking with in troops. with five troops behind yeah. her in formal formation. Right. Well, you were just there. Yeah. What the freak? You expect me not to notice that shit? That makes no sense. Because Th because if the explosion blew them away, they shouldn't be coming back like they're the shit. They, ju <laughs> they just came back like they first got in the room. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, oh, you're going so, to this doorway? We're so, here. So if the explosion blew them away, no way they're coming back like they're the shit. And if the explosion didn't blow them away, they should be right there. Right? <laughs> but but the shit makes no sense. It's whatever. Oh Just the Asian chick was right there. Oh and for God. anybody to go watch the movie talking about, didn't you see the Asian girl dragging in? Fuck that shit. I want to hear yeah, that shit. Bro. I don't want to hear she was miss dragging in. Miss me. I don't want to hear she was dragging him. Please. I don't want to hear that shit. Please miss me. It's bullshit. Yeah. If she was dragging him and they was right there, she would have got shot. Yes. Why are you taking this nigga? <laughs> Bro, we ain't taking this nigga. Cause no. they were still there. Fucking What's this? Why is she dragging him? <laughs> Bro, and she crashed and saved Finn. And she was like, huh. she kissed him. Bro, the most out of place, cringy. She, she kissed him and kissed then him. and then passed out. She said she loved him. She, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. You a lie. Go we gotta save people. No, we gotta we gotta stop. Uh, stop stop trying to stop people we hate and save the ones we love. Yeah. And then she kissed him. She just saved him. What you think she's saying? I saved the one I love. Let me seal that with a kiss. <laughs> when did you fall in love with him? She when did you fall in love with when him? When you were over there stealing poker chips? When you guys were riding camels in the freaking racetrack and shit? When did you fall in love with him? When? I'm done. You didn't fall in love with him. You you have anything else? Man, I wanted Ray and Finn to get together, and then they're going to show Ray looking at that, Finn. That look, it was a little yeah, bit. like, come on. And then she smiled. She smiled a little bit like she's okay with it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, that's Man. not happening. They're not getting together. This is done. No. Age, age this, I'm right here with you. I forgot when you used to say it. I think it was uh, 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 Force Awakens. But none of this shit's making sense, so I'm with it. That Asian bitch is gonna get betrayed by Finn and he loves Ray. and it's gonna oh, make no God. sense. It's gonna make no sense. Oh, Ray's gonna go to another side of the universe oh, and he's gonna do what he always does. Ray, 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 Ray. I have Ray. to go find Ray, 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 Ray. And she's gonna be like, you must love Ray, 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 Ray. And then oh, they're gonna be love. Oh, that. It's the bullshit. I call bullshit. He's gonna spend all his time chasing her, no time with her, but he loves Asian her. Asian girl will get jealous. 
Why are you always? I think that's making too much sense. Yeah, yeah, freak that shit. <laughs> Anything else? This movie looked beautiful as far as its quality. Oh yeah, CG's on point. It's expected. Uh, what's his name? Good job, Disney. What's his name gonna be on point? Uh, Thanos. Yeah, they CG's cool. Yeah. Come on, Warner Brothers, fucking. I'm, sh I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Stephen Wolf look like uh, that. Come on. Here's the call to action. The call to action is fire Kathleen Kennedy. Put put Kevin freak Spidey in there. For, you guys, that that Ryan Johnson trilogy, trash. I don't give a freak about that weekend as trilogy he's making. You still want trash. him? Trash. Y'all still want him? Old Republic? Republic? Trash. Don't let him make It's going to be an Old Republic of Jedis that can't fight. Trash. Miss me with Ryan Johnson and his trilogy. It's a shame when, J when I want J.J. I, I need him back. To come back. I need him back. Unbelievable that J.J. Abrams set something up that Ryan Johnson tore to the but ground. guess what? It's like y'all keep saying there's nothing to look forward to. Luke is gone. Got nothing. Luke is gone. Leia for sure is gone. She ain't coming back. Yep. Obviously. Rest in peace. That's rest how we know she's Very not coming sure. back. Yoda's dead, obviously. Luke's gone. Luke's dead. Luke's dead. Snoke's dead. <laughs> so Everybody's dead. Finn, oh. Ray, Poe, Kylo. I don't give a freak about Finn. Don't give a freak about Poe. Give a freak about Kylo. And now... It's sad. I don't give a freak about it. As Ray. far as expectation goes for a new film. What? What do I want? What? This might as well be The Force Awakens. I got nothing. Nothing. This is like a reboot. You got less characters is what you got. This is like a reboot again. <laughs> You're starting off with less yeah, characters. This is a reboot. Freak this, this motherfucking movie, bro. We got that Asian chick. She's new. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, I'm going to grade this film. I'll, I give this movie an F minus. Trash, filth. This is the worst Star Wars movie ever made. Episode two is better than this film. Episode two is the second worst Star Wars movie ever made because episode eight is the worst Star Wars movie ever made. And I thought it was gonna be the best. God damn, what you give it? All right, I was hiding my true feelings all the time. I was at the theater, I was trying not to spoil my grade. I was like, you know, it's not bad, man, it's not bad. This shit right here, my bias goes in reverse. This is a bias to the side? No, 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 no. My bias, I usually bullshit for my bias. Bias hate. This is bias hate. Woo! I can't believe they did this. Woo! Why did they do this? I don't know. Why would you do this? I don't know. This is a straight up F plus. Whoa! <laughs> F plus! What? This is F a... from the code on a Hold Star on. Wars movie? Hold on. Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. The Remember, plus, the plus. I, mean, I gotta explain. This is, this is a, it's a plot. This is a plot. You thought the plus meant something good. This is a plus to how much more negative it gets. It's not. A, you can't say what? minus. No. You say Sorry. minus. You say minus to represent the badness. But I'm adding on more F. <laughs> F plus plus plus. This is stupid, bro. You got too stupid. So you gotta give it stupid grades. Oh my god. You got stupid, stupid. It's an F. I'm just joking. Y'all know what I mean. It's a minus, but I have to say F plus plus. Check our back catalog, this bro. This is stupid. It's just stupid. I, how? This is a stupid I hear you movie. when you say all these people on the YouTubes and shit. Man, yeah, great movie. How? 4.5 and 4.1 and 5 out of 5 and A minus and A plus. Freak my life. If anybody in the comments. Freak my life! Go watch this movie and like it for whatever reason. Please explain. Explain why this is an A movie. I, I don't even care if you're gonna rant on me and explain my oh call you tripping blah blah. Kill for me sure. with it. For sure. Kill me with it. Because I need some light in the fucking dark here. I need some light in the dark. You have to understand the reason why Snoke died was yeah, 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 yeah. And please, I don't even care if they fail at it. Just do it. You try. Yeah, because this makes no sense. I mean, dear like God. I said, dear God, I always say it. Just because there isn't lightsaber battles, blah blah, but don't pee on the shit. They peed all over the they, shit. They peed, and they went back forty years ago and peed on the original trilogy. They peed all over the shit. At least the, the original, original trilogy got stained because the main guy, Luke Skywalker, is a bitch. At least the original <laughs> trilogy had <laughs> lightsaber <laughs> battles the way it did because of the times. And then you're like, okay, whatever. But the movies were good. Imagine Star Wars fans who just saw episode eight. I want to get into Star Wars. They go watch this movie. They hate it. They see this Luke Skywalker guy, and they go back to watch the episode uh, four. 
yeah. and they see, oh, Luke, that's the young guy, that's him. Yeah. And they're saying all this thing, you're going to grow, you're going to be great, you're the, you're the chosen one, you're going to be excellent. Right. But you're like, but he's that old guy in episode eight I saw. He's weak, he's not going to be nothing. <laughs> they know his future. <laughs> How do you expect them to go back to the original trilogy and watch three movies of him, bro? That's what I mean when they took a piss on the original trilogy. That's, you, that's I, mean, I, I mean that too, but for me it's more of you're going to see characters develop like yeah, I'm gonna he, see this motherfucker be teased. No, 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 without that. You're seeing him, it's like, it's like you're seeing, you see a new hope, and you're seeing, okay, that's Luke, and then you see uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back, and you're like, okay, I see what's going on, and then you see yeah. Return of the Jedi, but then you see this, and you're like, he's learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's the same guy. He's literally. I, I saw a kid in A New Hope, and then I saw a kid finding his way in Empire Strikes Back, and then I saw a man, or a young man, young man, who's found his way, or at least appeared to have found his way. And now I see an old man who knows nothing. <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Mark Hamill, I feel terrible for you makes because you did not no want Luke sense. to go down this road. It makes no sense. Luke was my favorite character only because of the homage that is... Uh, a New Hope, you know I love A New Hope. I like it too, I love it. And, and Luke was my favorite, a lot of people think Obi-Wan's my favorite character in Star Wars, but it was always Luke, but... I thought it was Obi-Wan. Yeah, exactly. But because, uh, uh, what's it called? A New Hope was my favorite Star Wars movie, uh -huh. and Luke, I loved him as a character so much uh -huh. back then. It's just like Tomb Raider is my favorite... Oh, nigga, 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 wait, nigga, 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 one more thing, one more Get thing, it, one more thing. Shit. It's, it's about Luke. Bruh, bruh, he's weak. he's weak. He spent 30 years on this island, however long, however he's long. Died there. He never bruh, left. He, <laughs> he never left. He never left. He, never <laughs> he spent all this time on this island, vowed never to leave. He was right, but he <laughs> vowed never to leave. <laughs> never, never to leave, right? Yeah. But he was going to leave. He chose to go with Ray and train her. Yeah. Why? Change his mind. I'll never train you. I'll never do this. Yeah. What changed his mind? Do you remember? Mm. R2-D2, showing a hologram, uh, help us Obi-Wan oh, Kenobi, yeah. you're only a- That's not fair. Yeah. Are you kidding me? The hologram message that makes you change your whole conviction? This nigga. Nigga. Don't you remember this shit? You Miss, her man. Now you bring Obi-Wan into this shit? Fucking Obi-Wan is officially my favorite Star Wars character. Yeah, it's very smart. I mean, because Obi-Wan was my, my number Luke two. Luke is trash now, bro. But yeah, this is Ken. Hey, gotta hey, go I gotta go with the canon. You look like a fool going with Luke now. Hell yeah! Fuck you. He's, he's he's trash. trash. He's everything you always knew he was. <laughs> yes, I always knew he was trash. He's I've been saying that shit for the longest. He's and now Disney's like, you know what? He is trash. He's officially the trash that you knew he's to be. Uh, he's the worst Jedi I, I ever seen in the film. Hell yeah. He's worse than Anakin. He's worse he's than Qui-Gon. He's worse than that one guy that got stabbed first when they went in to go get... Order 66? <laughs> yes. Yep. He's worse. Ah, ah. He's worse than that guy. At least right. he got took out by yep. Sidious. <laughs> He's worse than anybody on that Jedi Council. Definitely, definitely. Luke is bad. He's bad. And uh, and so is this movie. Freak this movie. Do not. Please, don't go see it. Don't waste your money. He, go bootleg it. He would have never made it on the council. Freak this mother. Heck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank you, Cole, for being here, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. This shit. Freak this movie, man. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm, all the Star Wars fans, yeah, I don't movie. like you. I'm, I'm there now with you. I still like Force Awakens, but I'm there now. Force Awakens is a gold mine compared to this shit. I'm there with you. Remember when y'all was ranting? Yeah. I'm there. I'm not done, because maybe they can rep fix shit. I'm holding on a little longer. But as far as... They fixed that. As far as being... Uh, 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 satisfied? I'm not. Cause y'all know I like World One. I'm satisfied yeah. with that. I'm satisfied with Force Awakens, despite the changes they made. Yeah. Was putting, this has gone too. I watched these characters that I like get put to Rogue One status characters that you didn't care about, and when they died, you didn't give a shit. Give a Problem. Shit. Thank you, put down in the comment section what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for that real content. This review is going to be a lot different than the rest of YouTube. My reviews normally are, cause we keep that shit real here with no bias. I'm Jody Joe. That's the man, the myth, the legend. Code, baby. And we out this thing. S plus plus. Deuces. <laughs>